metaverse is a vision of a technological reality of immersive environments with which we can interact and that are connected to our minds and our vision and um, maybe even to our neurological system um, in the future. Uh, it's a vision that starts to be manifested but we are yet years away from the computing power and technological reality that this vision becomes mainstream. If we discuss the future of the metaverse and how it can ensure users' privacy um, and healthy and sustainable data governance models, it is very important that we look on the one side on future governance frameworks, that we look at market creation and market incentives to guide innovation in a positive direction, but we also need to have a holistic view and look at the infrastructure level. For the metaverse ecosystem, is there a need for a common infrastructure at the protocol level, at the digital identity level, that has to be created so that users can better control their data, that there's a sufficient level of interoperability between metaverse environments, um, and that users and companies using the metaverse and interacting in the metaverse can partake in the economic value creation that is done with their data and their interactions in an easy way. In this sense, it is important for both policymakers and innovators to explore different pathways that we can take. One of them is an infrastructure protocol, an open source infrastructure protocol that we at Project Liberty's McCord Institute steward, which is called the Decentralized Social Networking Protocol. With the next iteration of the internet and potentially the metaverse, um, if it becomes mainstreamed in a, not only a business-to-business -business environment but also a business-to-consumer environment, um, that it becomes part of the social web, there's a big chance to do things in a more sustainable way. It's a bit the same thing that today if you would build a company you would make sure that it is sustainable, that it does not pollute, that it is carbon neutral. What is the equivalent for the metaverse? Here it is very important that policymakers, innovators, investors, civil society experts and academia all come together to create the right frameworks. Whether the metaverse will be centralized or decentralized will depend on the right governance frameworks set by governments, the right technological infrastructure that needs to be available and highly performant so that businesses with massive investments behind them can be very innovative and build great businesses in a healthy and sustainable way on the metaverse and that users feel comfortable with regards to how their data is protected and how they can interact um, with metaverse services. In that sense, it is a mix of market incentives, government frameworks and in the end also user choice because they will determine with what environment they are happy and migrate to more decentralized platforms or more centralized platforms. A mainstream reality of a metaverse is probably years ahead of us. However, what is very important for policymakers, but also innovators and technologists who think about the metaverse and develop applications for the metaverse, is to think about how can we integrate ethical standards and ethical values by design from the onset in the technological infrastructure that powers the metaverse. If there's one recommendation, it would be to think about the possibilities that we have. We need to discuss them in a multi-stakeholder setting and to incorporate them ex ante by design in future metaverse technologies. In 10 years from now, I think there's a high chance that something like the metaverse, especially augmented technologies and, and other immersive technologies, have become mainstream. I think we will see them a lot in manufacturing, we will see them in surgeries, in business-to-business -business environments. They will replace international travel to a certain extent by offering better possibilities to meet. But I also think that there might be a potential development for social web applications in the metaverse. My hope is that they will be healthy, that they will enhance democracy and not contribute to polarization, and that we will learn a lot from Web2 so that we can build a more sustainable Web3 environment in the metaverse.